G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be playing the British Rank 2 HMS Abdiel, which is a fast mine lane cruiser. She has I think the highest top speed of all the Blue Water ships, and she carries a generous complement of sea mines. Last week I came up with a doctrine for mine layer gameplay, if you haven't seen that yet you can find the link at the top of the video. I thought I would take the ship out today and put that doctrine into practice. She's fairly squishy with ammo stores placed above the waterline. The mines at the stern are contained within the ship, so they are protected to a small degree from high explosive. However, a semi-armor piercing shell will still penetrate and potentially ammo rack the ship. My aim is to score at least one mine kill and can test and deny the cap zones heavily. Let's go. So here we are at Fuego Islands, one of the most disliked maps in the whole of the game, I think. I personally don't like it, and I know a lot of players that don't like it, but meh, we'll make do. We started at the cruiser spawn, which is a bit of an issue with this ship. It means that we can't get to the cap points first, generally. Judging by the team composition, we are at 5.0, so it's a full up tier. And I can see our enemy just here up ahead. Not sure what they are yet, so I'll try and skirt down the inside towards the Bravo point. Okay, it looks like we've got a German or a British destroyer and possibly a couple of Russian destroyers. Can't quite tell what that third ship is. So I'm not going to go that way now that they're firing on me. And we'll head down the back side of this island. It means it's going to take a bit longer to get there. But at least we won't be drawing what looks to be a fair bit of fire. They look like they're heading in the same direction as me. So I need to be prepared to fight them. Those shells look like they're coming in pretty close. So I'll keep the zigzag fashion going. Taking fire from a different angle. But it does look like this is the last set of shots coming in now. Slow down there. And that looks to be the last of the aggression. So we'll hit flank ahead and go into intelligence mode. Let's see what we're up against. So it seems like we have a four-man squad here, F-O-C-T. Let's have a look and see what they're up to. Level 46, friends of Captain Tug Bobo. Okay, four-man squad. So they're going to be my main priority. And our team has two two-man squads to compensate. These guys are somewhat coordinated. They will be pretty hard fight for me, and that's good, because I like a difficult fight. They've captured the alpha point, and from what I saw on the scoreboard, it was one of those squad members, so no doubt at least one or two of them are PT boats, and possibly another two or maybe three of them are destroyers. That's how I would do it if I was running a four-man squad. Alright, so now we have a basic assessment of the battle and how it may play out. We just have to get into a position to exploit that knowledge. I do like the calm before the storm. We've taken sight of another destroyer here. Four inch guns on this ship are pretty lackluster, especially at range. But we'll see if we can get a gist of his direction with a ranging shot. Now I've led in front of him, so if he's coming towards us, that may hit. Now this map is pretty predictable. Cruisers and other large ships always have to face the PT boats that hide at this point, so as long as I keep that in mind, we shouldn't be surprised. Cresting the point, now I can see what looks to be a Farragut 
class destroyer on his lonesome. So we'll put some fire out to him. I'm not sure if it was the last patch or whether it's just my lack of practice, but I've had some real issues with the rangefinders on a few of my ships. So we've got good lead on the ship here, but it seems to be falling short. Despite the fact that he's approaching us. Solid hit to the four turret there. Solid hit to the four crew compartment. But as I said before, these shells are pretty lackluster at range. They're much better within five kilometers when you can use their accuracy a bit better. Almost down to 50% there on that US, uh, US destroyer. We are only slowly chipping away. He seems to be preoccupied with one of my allies, so this is fairly easy gunny fight. We seems to be about halfway to our destination before we have to start looking for another target. Speak of the devil, what have we got here? Looks to be a Russian premium destroyer. Bow on engagement, he's only got two, tu uh, two guns, four. We'll try and hit those and cripple them. A lot of players, their first instinct when they get hit in the four turret is to turn the ship and there we go. This ship carries mines, I believe, so I'll try and hit those. There we go, detonation. Try and resist the urge to turn and repair your turrets instead if you can. We've got that. Seems to be a British destroyer. I can't tell what class just yet. Seems to be an Eskimo. Judging by that rear turret there. He's taken out our second turret. Got a fire on board. Taking fire from the port side. Two PT boats. One's been taken down. We've got an S100. He is now our priority. I have lost the four turrets, so we have lost a bit of our firepower, and the rear turret was facing the wrong direction. Resisting the urge to change to high explosive, British ships generally used only semi armor piercing rounds in their destroyers for service engagements. This guy is listing very hard, so it's going to be almost impossible to hit that front magazine. So I think this is our candidate for the mine kill. So instead we will just chip away his turrets and try and remove his offensive capability. Hit him in the bridge so he can't maneuver. Make sure his torpedoes are out of the way. Take the rear turret if we can. There we go. Nice and tidy. We're within a decent range so we are ready for ramming. Keep the hits up on those turrets. Make sure he doesn't get feisty, which he's just set a fire on board. Front turret is now down. But at this point, we don't need our turrets anymore. We are within range. So what I'm going to do is I'll try and push him into this cove here off to the starboard side. The Abdiel's superior weight makes it a bit of a bully when it comes to pushing destroyers around. So we'll try and hit him just around the turret section before the bridge the we and we will push him into this cove now we'll hit to the port side and come and slide off of him still flank speed we are flooding a little bit so we'll start to drop some mines so he cannot escape the way that we've just come keep dumping those mines trying to stagger them He's probably thinking, what's this guy doing? Drop some more. Right in front of his bow. Keep going with the mines. We've dropped 10 so far. We've got plenty more to go. And we will drop a smoke screen just to confuse the situation a little bit more. There we go. He's taken a mine hit. He's lost his pumps. 
it'll be almost impossible to navigate through that now. And there we go. We've, we've had success for our mission. Rest in peace, sir. Alright, so that's two out of that four-man squad we've managed to take down. I did see a US destroyer sneak around, and we've got some enemies up ahead. Two to three destroyers. But where did that Farragut go? I think he's stuck his head around that corner. There he is. There's his funnel. Right, we're just going to line him up for a rear magazine shot. He's not looking at us. Slightly low, let's high aim a bit higher, and there we go. Detonation again. Looks like a Brissenden, maybe? We've got a destroyer sitting on the Bravo point as well. Looks like we're taking five now from that British destroyer. Start a zigzag fashion. I'm not going to try and range him in. I'm going to keep my eye on this destroyer here directly off to our port bow. Ghost shell. That one went straight through. Oh, SKR. He's dangerous. We don't want to fight him directly. Put some ripple fire onto him. Try and get a sneaky semi up piercing round through him while he's not looking. All misses, unfortunately. Back to our more pressing matter. <coughs> what is this? Russian destroyer. He's sitting rather still. I think it's a Bezoprechny. Not doing much at all. Solid shots there through the bow. He's already lost his front turret. I won't bother trying to mine kill this guy. We've already got one. That just puts us at unnecessary risk. Need to try and get some shots into his machinery room. And watch out for any potential torpedo launches. Fortunately, we get him. That's three out of that four-man squad. No doubt they've respawned. Let's see what's up ahead. Mr. SKR has seen us. Those horrifyingly powerful 76 millimeters. Hopefully he doesn't have the RBUs. And if he does, I hope he doesn't know how to use them because we are at very dangerous range. I'm laying mines to try and deny access to the cap point from this Italian district. Oh, we've got some RBUs coming in. Oh, geez. Fortunately, they weren't ranged in, so it looks like he shot a full volley. We may have a few seconds of reprieve. We are losing crew at an exponential rate. Fire and repairs are under effect. We've lost our bridge. Keep dumping the mines. We've got torpedoes coming in. This angle seems to be pretty safe for them, that spread, though. Hopefully we can make it back around the corner. Not quite. So that looks like all she wrote for HMS Abdiel. I don't see us being able to get out of this situation, even with a stream about of luck. Maybe get a shot in? No, we are done for. So that's how you play HMS Abdiel. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, Commander Tyrael, out.